Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session in dentistry and more. So today we have a very uh, easy topic that is a basic difference between primary dentition and permanent dentition. So primary dentition which is also known as deciduous dentition, milk teeth, baby teeth and temporary teeth. So let's see the difference between these two dentition. So we all know the deciduous dentition or primary dentition which starts by six months that is the first tooth uh, erupts in the oral cavity which is the mandibular or the lower central incisors then it goes on erupting up to the second molars by two years uh, most of the teeth will be erupted that is around 20 teeth will be erupted whereas in permanent dentition it starts by six year that is again the lower central incisor will be erupted by five to six year it uh, varies based on the gender and uh, individual to individual it may vary uh, so that is the eruption uh, duration that is six months to two years this is six to 21 years so the last tooth which is erupting in permanent dentition is third molars okay that also varies uh, person to person it may erupt as, as soon as uh, 17 years or it may delay up to 20 to 23 years so let's see the difference between these two before that uh, we need to divide uh, our dentition into primary dentition mixed dentition and per so primary dentition is exclusively the teeth as only primary dentition that is six months to six years by six years the permanent dentition starts erupting so till 12 years the person will be having both deciduous and uh, permanent dentition that is between 6 to 12 years so around 12 to 13 years most of the deciduous dentition will be exfoliated and the person will be having only permanent dentition that is 12 years onwards so we have primary dentition that is 6 months to 6 years mixed dentition 6 to 12 years and permanent dentition that is after 12 years it's not exactly 12 6 and 6 months it may vary person to person uh, age gender variations will be there so let's see the difference between primary and permanent dentition so as i mentioned it starts from 6 months to 2 years it starts from 6 years to 21 years we have 20 teeth in primary dentition whereas a permanent teeth is 32 in number so we know we have uh, four categories of teeth mm, that is we have incisors we have canine premolars no premolars in deciduous we have molars here we have incisors canine premolars and molars so incisors is 8 this is 4 this is again 8 okay so total 20 teeth here it is different incisors is again 8 canine is 4 whereas premolars is 8 and molars is 12 okay so each quadrant we need to divide by 4 so each quadrant there will be 2 incisors 1 canine and 2 molars here each quadrant there will be 2 incisors 1 canine 2 premolars and 3 molars that's how it is coming 20 and 32 teeth in deciduous and permanent teeth and regarding the crowns uh, in deciduous or perm uh, primary dentition the crowns are very short uh, whereas the permanent dentition has bigger crowns as you can imagine in kids uh, mouth uh, small crowns whereas the adult mouths the crowns are bigger the which has narrow occlusal tab table in primary dentition whereas bigger occlusal table in adult dentition and the cervical region there will be a constriction in primary dentition so such constriction are not very marked or very evident in permanent dentition and thinner enamel and dentine in relation to primary whereas the permanent dentition has thick enamel and thick dentine 
so the uh, direction of enamel rods in cervical third in primary dentition it is towards the occlusal side whereas in permanent dentition it is towards the gingival side and broader and flat contacts between the teeth whereas in permanent dentition it has point contacts that is between the teeth the regarding the color the primary dentition is more whiter uh, lighter in color whereas the permanent dentition is more darker and slightly on yellowish side okay in primary dentition the incisors which has no mamelons and no developmental grooves in permanent dentition mamelons and developmental grooves can be present and in primary dentition there will be a uh, mesiobuccal bulge that is at the cervical regions of molars will be prominent so this type of mesiobuccal bulge on the cervical side will not be prominent in primary den permanent dentition and as i mentioned icpm that is a cord incisors canines premolars and molars two incisors one canine no premolars two molars two one two three that is two incisors one canine two premolars and three molars so regarding the pulp the deciduous dentition has large pulp chamber the pulp horns are more closer to the outer surface so the treatment procedures there will be accidental pulpal exposure because it has a bigger pulp chamber and it is very close to the outer surface of enamel and more cellularity and more vascularity so uh, it is uh, just opposite or just uh, lesser in permanent dentition cellularity and vascularity is comparatively low and the pulp chambers are not very big and it is away from the outer tooth surface and roots are larger and slender and smaller trunks whereas the roots are shorter and bulbous roots and it has larger trunk which is towards the apical direction where the trunk is towards the uh, cervical region and the mesiodistal dimension of roots is narrower in primary dentition whereas it has a broader mesiodistal dimension physiologic resorption is seen only in primary dentition because it is a natural process the roots will be resorbed and permanent dentition will be replaced such resorption is not seen in permanent dentition and interglobular dentin is absent in primary dentition whereas it is present in permanent dentition and there will not be uh, much gingivitis or recession which is uh, periodontal problems mostly it is uh, absent in primary dentition but it is very very evident and it is present in permanent dentition so this is uh, some of the few examples so we can have tooth wise uh, comparison and um, each category like enamel dentin pulp cementum periodontal ligament so i, I include uh, most of the differences so this is most commonly asked uh, essay question or sometimes a shorter note or a very short note so if it is asked as a essay question you need to elaborate under enamel dentin pulp cementum periodontal ligament gingiva alveolar bone all the subheadings you need to include that then only you will get more marks so if it is a short note or a very short note like three marks or five marks you can write this uh, making a table and write the important uh, so this includes most of the characteristics but not uh, very much in detail uh, explanation is given so that's about the difference between primary dentition and permanent dentition so i'll come up with a new topic in dentistry more thank you Thank you.